Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is our first task uh, in a part one, which is a bronze level. Uh, I've got three baskets that will be around me, which is where I will dispose all my objects. As you can see here, I selected different type of objects, but you can stick to rugby balls or tennis balls. It's as you want, but I quite like to challenge myself. Um, one thing, uh, the aim of this uh, exercise would be to be thrown 20 objects to you and you just collect as many points as you can. If I drop an object here, it would mean each object will count one point. On this one, it would be two points. And on this one behind me, which is harder, would be three points on the back. So just a few points. Remember to catch the ball, make sure you got this W shape, okay? So your hands should be close to each other. And another thing, stay on your toes all the time so to, get, to get a quicker reaction. And after your eyes, always on the ball, always. Okay? to do 34 points so which is pretty pretty good um, one thing with this drill um, the, the person who will throw the object to you uh, you can talk to them at the same time if you want a little bit faster or a little bit slower it's just to make sure you got a lot of practice before you go into this competition okay so thank you very much remember catching with two hands nice and grip you can challenge yourself to try to catch on just one hand if you want to okay it's as you want the the the, the aim of this drill is to catch as many as many objects as you can so thank you very much have a go send the video back to me and i will give you some feedback thank you okay guys now this is our silver level um as you can see now i've got a wall in between the person who throws the, the object and me so it will be a little bit more difficult i would say it's uh, it's part of catching, but at the same time, there will be a lot of reaction into it. Exactly the same process. We have one, two, and three. Uh, so I will be facing the wall. I will be catching 20 different objects. And, uh, and I will try to put it on the basket and score the best that I can. Uh, remember, catching with two hands. Stay nice and light on your feet. Good reaction. And keep your eyes like for this exercise. will be near and ready, always on the board, ready to catch. Is that okay? So remember, stay light on your feet and the VW shape. Very important to catch a ball. Thank you. is 28 so it's a little bit lower now than the, the bronze level as you can see the difficulties of touching the ball in the last second it's, uh, it's a little bit more challenging uh, you can play with the speed uh, you can also put a bedding for example uh, instead of having a wall uh, then that's it so remember catching the ball with two hands stay nice and light on your feet try to keep your eyes on the ball and, uh, and have a quick reaction on it thank you very much our goal level um, is going to be similar, but now I'm going to stand facing forward, which means the ball will be on behind me. So I will see the object even later um, than the one before. I put the number three basket behind me now. Uh, so the aim of it is to try to collect as many balls or objects as possible, and try to put them into the basket. Remember, catching the ball with two hands, uh, stay light on your feet and have a quick reaction. Try to react, keep your eyes on the board 
and try to collect as many objects as you can. Changing for me only nine this is my score only nine points so you can see a massive drop um, I really enjoyed that uh, just have a lot of practice uh, record yourself send the video back to me and I will give you some feedback okay remember catching the ball always with two hands but throughout the time you can try to challenge yourself to just catch the ball with one hand which is useful too stay light on your feet and keep your eyes on the target which is very important thank you now part two, we can start with the bronze level. Uh, you just only need a wall and a mark somewhere, which is about two meters away. So it's about two steps away. We're going to start with like a round shape, a round shape, sorry. Uh, could be a football, could be a netball, uh, anything around shape, basketball, for example. Um, the aim of it is for 20 seconds from the mark, you need to have a rugby pass either side and to try to make as many passes as you can against the ball. For, I would rather to pass the ball and catch it without any bounces, but if you don't feel comfortable, just start with one bounce and catch. Have a lot of practice and have to challenge yourself to make as many passes as you can in 20 seconds. Remember, keep it nice and strong Two hands on the ball, get from your hips, always look at your target, and your hands has to end up towards your target, so will be towards the wall. Okay, then after you catch it um, with two hands, double your shape, and after you just do it again and there again. Okay, so stay nice and balanced, and try to make as many passes and catches in 20 seconds as you can. guys so 19 points uh, on a bronze level which is not too bad but I thought it would be a little bit higher I thought it would be above 20 so yeah I still need to practice a lot uh, one thing I thought um, I didn't do that well is to change my feet every time I pass it so you need to make sure you change your feet every time okay be nice and comfortable just open your hips pass the ball from your hips aim uh, towards your target which is the wall and catch the ball with two hands as a double shape. Have a lot of practice, you can play with the distance, uh, go to about three, four, five, even more if you want meters away from the wall. Um, have a lot of practice from both hands and uh, record yourself, send the video back to me and I'll give you some feedback. And now we are on a silver level. Exactly the same distance against the wall, but now we're going to use a tennis ball. So same principle from your hips, rugby pass, okay? Change your, change your legs and keep passing. Catch a ball with two hands. If you want to challenge yourself, you can catch a ball with one hand if you want to. Um, then you can play with the distance, but for this challenge, I would just stick to two meters. Um, catch a ball, so make sure you keep your eyes on the ball. Okay, so the target will be a bit smaller now. Two hands on the ball, catch it there, and just do as many passes as you can in 20 seconds. guys so my score is 15 uh, on a silver level 
which is not too bad. Uh, I finally, I found it a little bit more challenging, uh, but the brightness of the board helped me a little bit. Um, so still the same, remember, catch the board in two hands, W shape. Um, you can play with the distance, as I said. Um, do a lot of practice. Uh, then after, just record yourself, send the video back to me, and I'll give you some feedback. Okay, now we are on a gold level in our part two. Um, we're going to use a rugby ball, same distance against the wall. So now it's going to be a bit tricky because I don't know, really know where the ball is going to go. Okay, it's going to be funny bounces. Uh, I just need to react it and try to catch the ball before the bounces. Okay, uh, same distance, two meters against the wall. Uh, rugby passing from the hip, keep changing hands every time. Catch the ball with two hands, readjust, and pass it again. Okay, double shape as uh, for catching the ball. Okay, so we see. for my goal level uh, which is not great but I really enjoy that uh, I would have more practice uh, it's very challenging but I really enjoy it um, as I said before make sure go nice and stable pass the ball then how you can challenge yourself is how strongly you're going to throw the ball against the wall okay stronger you throw the ball bigger the bounces will be um, catch the ball with two hands readjust and pass the ball from your hips. Okay, stay nice and stable. Stay always on your feet when you want to catch the ball, so you go a quicker reaction. And uh, do a lot of practice. This is a very good practice, guys, for you catching. Um, record yourself, send the video back to me, and I'll give you some feedback. Thank you. Okay, guys, now it's a part three. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just need you and a rugby ball. Uh, the bronze level, it's pretty simple, it's all about catching. So what you need to do is to catch, throw the ball in the air and catch it with two hands. Okay, so throw the ball in the air, catch it with two hands. And what you can do is to play with the distance. So just try to throw as high as you can. So you got a nice one. Okay. Then you keep catching it. Okay. Why you can do the next, I would say the next level in a bronze level is to catch a ball away from your body. Okay, so you catch a ball away from your body. Catch a ball away from your body, okay? So this is your first target in the bronze level, is to try to catch the ball as high as you can, okay? As many times as you can. Now, we are in a part three uh, silver level. As you can see, I look a bit funny. I uh, just put something on uh, one of my eye. So you just do a lot of practice with, uh, with your left eye, and after you just switch. Uh, what you can do now is you can throw the ball exactly the same. Try to catch it. Okay, next one, you can clap it, catch it, and try to get as many clap as you can. Okay, what you can do is stand on one leg, catch the ball. Exactly the same, so you can work on your balance and change leg. Okay, the next one, just throw the ball. Go on one knee, catch it. Throw the ball, go on one knee and catch it. Okay, go on one knee and catch it. Okay, what you can do at the same time at the end of it is to blink both eyes. Okay, so you just throw, close your eyes and try to catch it. Okay, it's a good reaction for that. Have a lot of practice, it becomes a little bit more difficult when you go like one eye on this. So now we are on a goal level in a part three. Uh, what you can do, you can hold something uh, in one arm and throw the ball in the air and try to catch it there at the same time. Okay, then you can change hands, throw the ball in the air, try to catch it with one hand. Okay, okay, next trick. So you try to catch a ball on your back, okay? So you try. Three, let's go. Catch it. 
There we go. So try to catch this here on your back. Uh, one thing you can do, you can throw the board, do a burpee, and try to catch the board, which is very challenging. Throw the board and catch it there. Uh, you can throw the board in here, and sit down and catch it. One thing I used to, to try to throw the board, run a distance and back and try to catch it. Very changing, try to see if I can still do it. Nah, it's a bit too far for me. So when it's too far, just start the closer. Throw, back, and catch it. And after you just play with the distance. Let's throw. And catch it. So this is this. Uh, if you want more example, just contact me by email or on Teams. And I'll give you more details.